Okay, so the short version is that in total, you're gonna need four soul stones, two keys, and a lifting scroll. And now for the detailed version. In Misty Garden 2, you'll find a vending machine in places similar to where you'd find other loose loot. It'll ask for two soul stones, which you can pay now or later. You'll always get at least two soul stones from beating the boss in this stage, so I like to play through the map as normal and then just come back after beating the boss to pay the soul stones. In Bloody Park 1, you'll find another vending machine asking for two soul stones and a trapdoor that needs two keys to open. I'm mentioning the keys right now because I somehow always forget. Do not forget your keys! Also, if this is your first time trying to enter the Crimson Wilderness, you'll need a lifting scroll. Anyways, give the vending machine your kind donation and then walk around the map until you hear like this howling wind sound. Once you hear it, use the lifting or purification scroll to reveal the trapdoor. Note that after doing this once, you'll never have to do this again, you can just walk up to it in your subsequent runs. That's why I didn't have to use the lifting scroll to find this one. Give it two keys to get the question mark key. And now you're good to proceed to the campfire. And after you're done recruiting and blacksmithing and whatnot, walk up through the bushes to this wall. The question mark key will automatically get used and the wall will disappear, letting you walk straight into Yeehaw Land. And then you're there. Good luck! Bye!